Is the Yellowstone supervolcano active? Geologists think there are signs of movement. A research study has discovered at least seven zones beneath Yellowstone that store vast amounts of magma. Yellowstone National Park has one of the largest volcanic systems on the planet. Its vast caldera stretches across much of the park and has given rise to several geysers, hot springs, and steaming craters. Scientists constantly monitor the region for signs of danger. This is because even a small eruption can potentially completely alter the surrounding landscape. Now beneath the massive Yellowstone caldera, one of the world's most famous supervolcanoes is showing signs of movement. While there is no immediate danger yet, the findings demonstrate how unpredictable the region is. The findings were revealed in a study titled The Progression of Basaltic Rhyolitic Melt Storage at the Yellowstone Caldera. The study was published earlier this year in the journal Nature. Seismologist Ninfa Bennington and her team estimate that the vast underground magma chamber, which has long been responsible for the caldera's explosive history, now appears to be moving northeast. This means the next major volcanic eruption could occur in that direction. In their paper, they write, post-caldera rhyolitic volcanism over the past 160,000 years has occurred across most of the Yellowstone caldera, except for this northeastern region. Rhyolite is a dense, silica-rich type of magma that doesn't flow easily, but when pressure builds, it can result in extremely violent eruptions. The researchers also estimate that beneath northeastern Yellowstone, the crust may contain up to 105 cubic miles of molten rock. That's nearly the same amount of magma that erupted 1.3 million years ago during the catastrophic Mesa Falls event, as reported by Newsweek. The study found at least seven zones beneath Yellowstone that hold large amounts of magma, some of which are connected and share a common supply. These magma pockets are located at varying depths, ranging from as deep as 29 miles underground to as close as 2.5 miles below the surface. To study the Earth's crust, Bennington and his team used electromagnetic methods that track even tiny shifts in Earth's magnetic field.
This allows them to pinpoint what lies beneath the surface. The researchers emphasize that more detailed studies are needed before anyone can predict when the magma reservoir in the northeast will erupt. Yellowstone is a giant supervolcano, unmatched on our planet. Over the past two million years, it has erupted three times with devastating force, leaving behind giant bowl-shaped craters. Besides the Mesa Falls eruption mentioned above, two other major eruptions were the Huckleberry Ridge eruption, which occurred a little over 2 million years ago, and the Lava Creek eruption, which occurred about 630,000 years ago, as reported by BBC Science Focus. In addition to these eruptions, the volcano has also produced several smaller eruptions over the years.